Hello all, hope you're keeping well. Uh, just got over the fact that I'd just installed the new window when it turned out my uh, central locking was failing. Now what happened, the, literally we came to the van, went to go and lock it and the indicator started uh, basically holding on. So I wasn't really sure if the door was not locked. Sometimes when the doors aren't all shut properly, it won't lock. So uh, I did the, the rounds, tried to reshut the doors, reapplied the key fob, key fob was flashing and the lights were holding the indicators. Now normally when you lock the door, or lock the van, the indicators will flash on and back off once it's done. And same when you open it. So like I say, we tried to lock it, indicators stayed on. Um, and basically got around, walked around the vehicle. Uh, sometimes it would flash, stay on, um, and sometimes wouldn't do anything. So I've got a video um, which I'll show the process of me doing that now. So yeah, the, basically the central locking stopped working. Um, I came up to the van and pressed the key fob. You can see the little light on the key fob flashing. The indicators were holding when trying to lock the doors. Now. I thought initially perhaps one of the doors were open on the van. So I went round, did a round robin, shut the van, doors, side doors, uh, the passenger and driver's door, and then the back door as well. Tried locking it again. Um, you couldn't hear the mechanisms go in, the lights were flashing and holding on. Um, and then unlocking, the lights were flashing, the lights were coming off. Now I did this a few times and eventually what happened was the lights actually stayed on, the indicator stayed on. The mechanism, there was no sound um, from the doors. Uh, which was a bit worrying. Um, what I managed to do, I caught a video um, as I was walking around and actually what happened towards the end prior to fixing this, I tried to lock the door or lock the van and the lights actually stayed on steady and then after that pressing the fob on off didn't matter, the indicator stayed on. Now I read into it on the transport T5s these are prolific for the central locking failure and it turns out there is what's called a convenience box, um, a little black box which is located under the driver's seat. Now, what I didn't realise at the time until I, I delved into it is you have a loom that runs underneath uh, both chairs, both front seats. So there's a little gully where it sits and that is well known for getting damp, wet. And I'll show you a few, uh, few photos shortly. Um, it was a lot wetter than I thought it would be, considering I've been around that area. Um, now, to get to the black box, it's quite simple. Located, like I said, underneath the driver's seat, there's two screws. Um, I think there can maybe be bolts sometimes, but there's basically two, screw, two screws holding in the, the black box, the convenience box. Um, and this convenience box does all sorts, central locking, I think it does your door, uh, your windows. Um, so yeah, it does a, it does a multitude of, of actions. Now, get into this, this box, get into the loom. Like I say, it's quite straightforward. There's four bolts that hold down the, um, the front seat, the driver's seat. So there's four nuts that you remove off the fixed bolts and the seat literally just pops off, off the back. So I remove the black box first. So I remove the two connectors off the black box. Removed the black box, um, took the seat back and inspected the loom. When I looked at the loom, I did find it to be quite damp towards the, the, the bit just entering the, the gully in the footwell. So I took it all back, um, started stripping back the wiring and then I did notice um, a green oxidisation from the wiring. And this was actually on the top of it, some tape that someone had been there before. The oxidation had got that bad, it actually crept out into the tape. Um, so there, I knew it was, uh, that was the issue. Went into it, uh, undid, undid the actual fabric tape, um, then the tape that was holding the cables in, and the wire literally uh, popped out. So there was no, no connection there whatsoever. So in the end, what I did, uh, stripped back the two wires, 
made sure that all, all the oxidization had gone and I recrimped the wires um, put some heat shrink around it uh, and then taped it up and then actually did some um, fabric taping as well to uh, restore it back to its um, original state reconnected it all up tried the fob and it worked first time so it was a worrying time because the central locking had stayed on the hazard lights the indicator lights locked on uh, nothing was nothing was working I originally thought maybe the fob but the fob light was flashing I thought maybe the battery voltage is too low enough to do the LED but not transmit a signal um, but no, it turns out it's the loom that's failing and it's notorious for the VWT fives so I hope that all the videos and pictures that I show you uh, will be a quick ref reference point um, a lot of the videos and information that I found online was quite tiresome probably went through 30-45 minutes worth of information to see what other options it could be but on the VWT fives and I believe other transports as well this is a, a well-known issue so if you have a problem with the central locking on your van and it's a VW then that is a good starting point all in all to take the four bolts out seat out and to inspect the area took all of 10 minutes so and then you can really delve in find out if that is the issue if it's the issue it's very quick fix when you've got crimps and crimpers um, and obviously something to cut the, the cables back with some snips and that's it so it is really a simple process and the fix is really nice and simple so hopefully this video will help someone out in the future if it hasn't happened to you and you've got a transporter VW then it's probably worth saving this video um, sharing it with someone who maybe have has got a transporter um, specifically a T5 because it could help them out one day um, and hopefully they won't be worrying like I was hope you enjoyed the video guys um, like I say just a quick video it was a quick reference point to an area on the van that could be a problem could worry a few people it, this is just a video that goes straight to um, the points there's no fluff like I say hope it helps everyone out uh, everyone else out I hope you have a good day a good week a good month and thank you for supporting Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the amount of support I've got at the moment. Um, I appreciate you. Have a good one. Cheers, guys.